To access the processing on an input channel, it's as simple as pressing the green select key on any input fader. On a dual surface, it will come up in the left side screen. On a single surface, you'll need to press the processing button at the bottom of the row to the right of the screen. In the processing screen, you'll see that we have areas for head amp and inputs gain section, high and low pass filter, your four band parametric EQ, and then you've got user definable workflow along the right hand side. For now, we'll focus on the tabs across the top of the screen. In bank view, we can see a compact view of all the channels in the selected bank. In the overview screen, I can see every part of the processing in the one selected channel. In the preamp tab, we can see our source select, which would be the socket that is actually feeding this mix channel, as well as our preamp settings. We have preamp modeling on board, accessed by pressing the library button, choosing a model, and then pressing recall. This is our tube stage, uh, tube preamp emulation. Under the filter tab, we have a large view of our high pass and low pass filter. I can change the slope of the high pass all the way down to a 24 dB Butterworth. In the gate section, we have our noise gate on board. Insert tab allows me to insert either onboard or external effects processing. In the parametric EQ, we have a four band fully parametric EQ on every channel. The compressor section allows us to see all the parameters for compression on our channel. We have a second insert point after EQ and compression. And then we have the delay page, which allows us to add input delay to any source. The tabs across the top of the channel processing view go in the order of signal flow. You can reverse the order of the EQ and compressor in the chain. To do this, press and hold the setup button to the left corner of the screen and touch the channel options across the top. Here I can change the order of EQ and compression on either an individual channel or globally. In addition to the tabs across the top, I can quickly access any of the channel processing by touching any of the dedicated processing areas around the perimeter of the screen.